All right, welcome to another episode of Closing Staff Podcast, where we talk about mainly GameStop things, but we, you know, we try to mainly talk more about our experiences, not so much as a rant uh, podcast, although it might happen occasionally. Uh, your host for today would be me. This is Trade Ho talking, and then we have the awesome creator founder of the Closing Staff Podcast, uh, Distro. Ooh, hey, no, thank you. I'm here. <laughs> I tried to do it a little quick. I know you went to a like super long one on the last recording. Hey, I was man, like, man, I had, I had a lot of passion in the last. I, one. I, I, hey, hey, man, I understand. You're the founder. I, I don't question you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, <laughs> you started this. This is this was your idea. And then we have a special guest today. Oh, before we go on to our special guest, we uh, we don't have cash wrap for this recording session. He was not feeling well. Mm-hmm. Um, we, had a, we had to swap party members. We did. We swapped. Yeah, we we had to. Uh, you know, calm on the, uh, what they call on we, we, Final we, Seven we, PHS yeah, or something right. like that. <laughs> we had to swap out our bard. Yeah, you know, yeah. exactly. We, 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 we couldn't use him for we, this we got We got the tank with us now. Yeah, um, right. And uh, we, we've we named him NCAP. So, so yeah. Hey, yeah. NCAP here. Uh, How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, uh, the, one, the one and only, the legendary. Yeah, NCAP, we, we've talked about nice. NCAP a few times. We just didn't have a name for him. You guys didn't hear what we would say because we would do just most motion gesture where we were like the mustache the, the beard we do a thing where we, where we pull from our chins it's like oh that's his beard that's, that's what almost we're talking about almost like a wise like kung fu master yeah know? exactly like, just like a mm, you know just flips it you know? yeah. that's cool now uh, NCAP here um, originally came from Game Crazy right correct yeah how long were you at Game Crazy for I was at Game Crazy for three years three before years it shut down. Before sh- and then you got into GameStop. Yeah, I got brought um, into the fold. Right. And then uh, how long were you at GameStop for total? Oof. Uh, I want to say six and a half, going on seven years. Okay, okay. So, yeah, okay. I mean, one of the things we were going to go into was, like, how different the systems were working. Not, like, not the POS specifically, but how, like, how it worked with, life, with the, the staff. And you know, working the hours and stuff like that, how different it was, or just the whole environment between Game Crazy and GameStop. So I don't know if you had anything uh, distro specifically you want to ask. Or? Well, yeah, because it's like two. It's almost like two different spots, you know, put together. You know, like it was a exactly. video store and a, game and a video store. game store. Mm-hmm. So that's why it was like a it was a match between the two, as opposed to when you went to GameStop, it was supposed to be an all in one shop. You know, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it was really small. We we're like tucked away mm-hmm. in the corner of a big old. Video rental and, and did you do rentals too at Game Crazy? I forget. Like, um, I remember you guys did disc buffing. We did disc buffing. That's I remember the buffing. Everyone yeah, came. You know? us. People would come to us and be like, "Can you buff, buff these for me?" And be like, "Yeah, sure." Do you want to buy a game? No, I'll shop at GameStop. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I would clean your game for you, sir. Damn. <laughs> but um, we Take didn't from do rentals. We would just shoot them to the video store next okay, to us. Okay, for sure. But we always got the video store's old games. Mm-hmm. Like when they were done with them, like say when a new game dropped, they'd had like. 20 copies of that game and they would cut it down to like five we would get the leftovers oh. and we would sell it okay so okay. Um, trade was big at game crazy as well but we also had that little side profit where it was just straight profit yeah they gave them to us and we yeah, sold yeah. them so well i mean straight profit probably for uh the game crazy subsidiary but yeah like from the higher ups it's the probably exactly oh, yeah it's a, they're still getting their their money <laughs> yeah yeah for it. um but you know i actually even think about it that way um that you guys would get like the the leftovers because I forgot that uh, Blockbuster was it, it was Blockbuster or no Hollywood Video Hollywood, Hollywood Video, video. Yeah, sorry yeah. not Blockbuster R. Hollywood R. Video um, <laughs> oh, yeah. That, Hollywood uh, video. yeah I forgot where I was gonna go but anyways <laughs> yeah, right. I, was, like, I remember shopping at Game Crazy like years ago mm-hmm. for like N64 stuff you know like it was it was a long time ago yeah know? classic stuff like that yeah or even like yeah PS1 you know like around that time before like the before the Fire Nation <laughs> before GameStop took over, yeah. Yeah. before the Empire, <laughs> you know? yeah. I just remember um, there was a city that I used to work at the other game store, and uh, they had another. Um, there was another game store in the city next to us uh, that was smaller population, and they only had two game stores. And it was that game store, and it was Game Crazy, and that store uh, shut down. I think a good only three months before Game Crazy was closed off, and it was just like. You guys held off another three months. You have no <laughs> competition. Won. Yeah, right. Uh, yeah, man, like, that was that no was a shame. I was just like, dang. All right, going from that because Game Crazy, when you were there, you just specialized in video games. That's it was it. just video games. But then when you went to GameStop, I mean, I think it was a gradual, not right away. For for a while, it was just video games too, right? Yeah. But I know we talked about it last time. Eventually, you had to start learning a whole bunch of stuff that weren't game related. Cricket being one of them. Um, I mean, <laughs> how was how was that? Like, <laughs> it was very like 
different. Cricket kind of came in towards like the end of my career of at GameStop. Mm-hmm. That was kind of like the sign for me. I was like, yeah, you know, like this isn't what it used to be anymore. The, the end of the end of uh, you know the era. Yeah, because you know? um, well, me personally, um, GameStop is a strong selling game, and um, sorry, I wasn't really good at selling. I mm-hmm. did okay. I yeah. Did my bare minimum. I got my fifteen percent, ten percent. But I was more of operations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, like, the cat counts and the TOHs that everyone hated, I loved doing. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I was, like, ready to do them, do the discrepancy reports, all that stuff. But um, selling phones was, like, like no, I didn't sign on to do this. Yeah, it was lame. You know, yeah. <laughs> it was like, getting phone contracts just, and stuff. Like, you know? It was a cool contract. service. Like, I got it that became, like, an all-in-one shop, trading your games, buy your phones and stuff. But... It was still kind of challenging. Yeah. Yeah, you're making sense. I mean, before Cricket, too, there was still, you know, like, taking in phones and tablets, right? Yeah. <laughs> that mm-hmm. was also crazy, too. Big it's, process. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a lot to learn from, you know, a place that should specialize just in video games. Because we talked about this. Uh, like, if you were, like, at a Walmart or a Target, you have different departments that you specialize in. Mm-hmm. You walk into a GameStop. And people wonder why sometimes GameStop employees are confused. It's because we have to learn a lot. Like mm-hmm. we we you know expanded our repertoire from freaking video games to phones, tablets, freaking phone plans, comp- like. And it's not just that we have to also you know talk about competition now. It's like oh now we have to learn about why you should get Cricket over T-Mobile and freaking all this nonsense. Yeah, yeah it's kind of like I didn't sign on for all <laughs> this. You know, yeah, yeah, because it's, it's definitely true. You have to expand your knowledge more. So like. You know, other things, instead of having to worry about, you know, selling your video games, doing your operations, being able to take care of these things, you know, kind of puts you in this op- in a spot where now you're there, they're judging your line of work based on stuff you've never done before. Exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's like, whoa. But even coming from uh, Game Crazy, you initially went to a mall store, right? Correct. Yeah, like, yeah, that was, that was like, your first location, right? Yeah. Yeah, how was that? That was like, a big change. Cause, um, going from, like, let's say, like, a Game Crazy to, like, you know, like, exactly. actually a big mall with, like, lots of people going through it. The uh, mall store that I went to um, right after Game Crazy... Um, it was a small location. It wasn't as big where it's at right now. We mm-hmm. did the move like a year oh, after. Oh yeah, because it was like in like a spot. Like, it was like, yeah, in, like, like in the middle, middle you know, alleyway yeah. kind of thing. There's like a little cutway through the mall, and we were there. It's tiny little store. I knew exactly what you're talking about mm-hmm. now. Go yeah, ahead. so it was. <laughs> you know, the yeah. size was still the same, so mm-hmm. it was easy to maintain. Mm-hmm. You know, but it was still very different because game crazy. We just sold video games. People come in, we knew what they wanted. There wasn't really um, pre-order bonuses. That's where. GameStop would mm-hmm. really steal away from Game Crazy because people would come in like, oh yeah, this game comes out next week. You want to pre-order it? And well, what do I get with it? Get your game. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get it and we, we hold it for you. Copy. I mean, we can exactly. talk for a minute. <laughs> That's all we can do is like, I guarantee you your copy. Oh, well, GameStop is giving out this code and this and that. I was like, oh wow. So that that's dope. <laughs> it's kind of new, like, oh, wow, okay, yeah, we're not going to last that long. <laughs> <laughs> and we would get swag to give out to people, but we would keep it. You know, because there's only, like, three or four things, or, like, you don't even ask for this stuff. Yeah, right? And we're here, you know, like, working, and, yeah. you know, we care about these games and exactly. stuff. Like. Well, and, and the the crazy thing is that how well it worked, because in this day and age, the pre-order bonus, you know, some pe- it's very divisive. It's like, yes. I don't want to pre-order at all, because I'm not behind this whole pre-order bonus thing. And then, but now, because there's, like, almost no competition, at least from the brick-and-mortar type, you know, perspective, that people don't even think about pre-order bonus now. They just yeah, come right. in and like now, like I, I see it. GameStop employees have a ton of leftover pre-order bonuses because customers don't even know about it. Yeah. People like, are like, "Oh, cool! I don't really want that." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's just like I mean, it's so like it, not that you don't want it. You know, it's like, but you get it. Yeah. You know, because if you order the game, it's like, no, that's it's fine. It's like it's on your receipt, sir. <laughs> you're, you're getting <laughs> you know, it regardless. Like, you're getting it. Re- I'm sorry that I brought it up. <laughs> yeah, you, know, yeah. you know, it made this harder. <laughs> um. I would, one thing I noticed from uh, GameStop was with the scheduling is how they allocate their hours. Do you would you say there was a huge difference between that? Yes. With, yeah. There was like maybe four people on our staff uh-huh. the whole time, and three worked the day, and one was more like a wild card. Mm-hmm. If someone needed a day off, yeah, kind of like a swing. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like just kind of goes anywhere. Now. Yeah, because you just had an an opener, a middle person, and a closer. That was it. It was business wasn't that heavy were like oh we need full staff mm-hmm. even during the holidays people wouldn't really come to the store because we just mm-hmm. sold like video games you go to like the other big stores target and all that you right, have like a whole bunch more stuff yeah. going on right but it was a different time like gamestop was really um coming up and game crazy was part of a video rental you yeah. don't think to go to a video store to 
buy video games. Mm-hmm. So. That's true. It was, it was very different though the transition. Yeah, you were there because before, of that. Yeah, before like everything kind of like started shifting, you know, because I came in at like the ass end of it, like before like you know it was still like classic game stuff. Yeah. You know, before like it started switching over to like merchandising and like all this stuff like loot and everything. You know? Yeah, exactly. And then like tablets and phones, and I was just like, oh my god, what, what's going on? <laughs> you know, yeah, like the same things. Like I didn't sign up for this. Yeah. But like, yeah, the whole the whole thing too is like you went from uh, from the mall store, and then and then our our man, you know, level up, came by and offered you the the golden hand, right? Yeah. <laughs> he reached out and you know it was like, like come with ah. me. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, in the moment he was just like come with me. Yeah. We, together we can, you know, we can rule. level up, man. You know, yeah. <laughs> we can rule the district. <laughs> yeah, we can rule Joy. the district, right? Yeah, and he, really, he brought you over to, to, our, to like, our, our real mother store, the mothership. You yeah. Know? Our like, base of operations. Yeah, our main, our our main base, you know. Because that was the main thing, too, is, like, coming into that store originally, it was always, like, you, it was always cash wrap, you know, level up there, and I always felt comfortable going in there, you know, and actually, yeah. like, buying stuff. <laughs> so that's why when I was, like, going to go interview, I was like, no, these guys are cool. Like, you know, yeah. this is the store that I want to be at, because all other stores, you know, you get the employees, they're just like, why are you buying that? <laughs> you know, why are you buying that <laughs> game? Or just like, hella grumpy, you know, just like, ask them more information. They're just like, oh, that's Capcom, you know. You don't want to buy that, that's crap. <laughs> just like, what? But I like Capcom. <laughs> yeah, you know, I like, I yeah, say, like, I'm sorry. I mean, it's it's one, it, it's, it's, it's something when I'm like, okay, I'll work at this GameStop. Because I used to hate GameStop. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, I knew some cool people at like specific stores. But like, if they weren't there, I'm just like, ah, I'm not going to go, you know. <laughs> but you know, that the mothership you guys are talking about, I'm like, man, I, I dig it here. And so when people were just like, oh, do you still go to GameStop? I'm like, oh, yeah, man, this store here is really cool, man. The, everybody here is cool. Like, yeah, right. I n- never had a store that really, everybody's cool. Just maybe one or two, you know? Yeah. So that's saying something. Yeah, people <laughs> go in there and they, like, look up and it's just like, oh, hey, how you doing, Disrael? Oh, yo, what's up, man? How you doing, NCAP? You know, it's like, <laughs> oh, what are, you, what are you buying today? Oh, I need to replay Bioshock, but I lost my copies. Like, do you have some? Oh, dude, let me pull out one and two right now. Yeah. Like, pulls it out, you know? Like, oh, let me see what I can do for you real quick, you know? Okay, sweet. No, I got you right here. You know, it's like, Get him, pick him up real quick, quick and easy. Talk about like you know the latest game out. You know, just like fist bump you out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, it's quick and easy. Exactly. You know, yeah. And it's just like, and it's a really good experience. You know, like, and if you have like a new game coming out, you're really excited about. It's like really easy to talk. You know, it feels like, hey, I'm actually in a game store. People actually care about like exactly. buying. talking shop. Because I because I know you know Bioshock. You know, yeah, oh, like yeah. those games. So yeah, like it's exactly. just like it's not like you're looking at me. Just like, like Bioshock. Bioshock. Yeah. Go to the beach. Go swimming. Yeah, buying this game. Yeah. Get out of here. You know, yeah. I wasn't like that. We you, all... haven't, you haven't played that already? <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. You're so old. I was, was going to say, with the end cap, I remember he was one of the uh, first few people to help me out when I walked into that store. And he was just like, as soon as he wasn't familiar with the game, he's like, oh, I've never played it. That's something that, again, I didn't see at other GameStop stores. They were just like, oh, um, well, I think it's like this. This is what I heard. Try to wing it. Yeah, or they try to they try to wing it, and they're just or they go off like a kind of a script where it's like you know I I read this from when they went out on the POS, so this is how it is, and I remember you know I've had to argue a few times where I'm like no I played it it's not like that and they go well that's what it says it is so it is I'm just like what are you talking about (laughs) I used to have fun with that you like I'd be like you know what I have never played this game before but let me look at this let's flip it over all right looks like it's got dragons (laughs) like it looks like it's two player (laughs) and it it looks like oh and it's made by so and so you know like and they make this they make this game this looks kind of cool yeah I might even pick one up you know yeah like hey pre-owned you know you know you can return it if you don't like yeah (laughs) good old Borrow the games, bring them back. So it's like, oh, looks like it might be a game about dogs. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> I've never played it, but you know what? You know, like go for it. Exactly. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> See, <laughs> now I'm just imagining. It's like, hey, how, what can you tell me about Dragon's Dogma? Will you take care of Dashuns and Labradors? <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about Nintendo dogs? <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. This is, this I think they even have cats now. Dragon's Dog. Like, mm. <laughs> okay, well, um, another thing about NCAP is that you, uh, you had actually like progress, like kind of rose to promote it, you know, through the ranks of GameStop, and uh, you had actually like hit a few like road bumps, and I remember this because you were trying to get to that assistant store leader position for a while, yeah, <laughs> and managers tried to help you get you there, but there was a little bit higher up people who didn't want you there apparently <laughs> yes but i mean how was <laughs> yeah, right. before you get so into the, <laughs> i mean before you get into the full details of that like how how would you say it was like the you know progressing or like get the you know going up the ranks in gamestop um it was an uphill battle 
but it was a good uphill battle because um, I get why they wouldn't move me right away. Because mm-hmm. there's always little things that you could tweak to make better. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said before, I wasn't big on selling. That was kind of one of my big roadblocks. Mm-hmm. But it helped me get better because I was worse than your bare minimum. <laughs> I was just like, you don't want your pro card? All right, cool. Get out of here. <laughs> like, you want to pre-order game? No, all right, cool. I don't want it either. Like, I just, you know, you I didn't, didn't really care. Yeah. yeah. I just wanted to sell you a game and then talk about video games. Yeah. But um, because of those roadblocks, I got a little better at doing it. And I did see, like, the bigger view of the mm-hmm. GameStop mantra, I guess. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> like, you got your circle of life brand. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like, I finally earned it. I leveled up. <laughs> but, um, so there, that's why, though, I had roadblocks like that. But they were good roadblocks because mm-hmm. they helped me get better. And just, I don't know what was up with the upper management. It was just dark times for GameStop. No, that's true. Like, that's a good question. Where are they now? (laughs) (laughs) But getting there was worth it, though. Okay. In the end, it it did make Learned a lot. Yeah, it helped me, like, in my new job, too. So I'm not, like, a manager, but I'm, like, a supervisor at my current job. And Mm -hmm. it... Which is good. It shows, like, I, mean, it's, yeah, I learned yeah. a lot from it. Yeah, yeah so I mean, you, we, we uh, talked about Sharpened your teeth, you know? Yeah. Exactly. We talked about it. Like, GameStop, it, it can be pretty rough, but you do learn a lot, and you keep yeah. those lessons with you. Um, but I would... me in the trenches, you know? Yeah, like, you know, now when something gets rough at, like, a position you feel more comfortable in, you're just like, oh, yeah, yeah let's, like, let's oh, I've been this, through you know? this and that. Dude, I can handle it. Oh, you're telling me they don't want pro cards? Like, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, cool. <laughs> you know? But, uh, you know, shortly after you actually got that position you wanted, assistant store leader yeah how long were you in that position again until you quit <laughs> yeah you know once you get to the top you realize it's <laughs> not fun <laughs> it's not that fun dude <laughs> yeah i think we talked about it i'm like, pretty sure i warned you about that yeah too. you mentioned before too that you didn't really want it because you didn't want to take your work home with you yeah yeah <laughs> it went yeah, home yeah. with me yeah and it was bad yeah <laughs> I, mean, I, I i knew from previous experience about that so i was just like no and yeah, I think it wasn't just you. It was someone else who we don't have a nickname for yet, but uh, who both uh, got actually promoted at the same time. Um, you know, just one level up higher. Like in your case, it was a uh, you know assistant, and in mm. his case, it was senior guest advisor. So or whatever the heck they call it now. But then mm. both of you guys ended up quitting anyways. But <laughs> <laughs> well, he he actually <laughs> still went up to I think assistant and even store. But anyways, mm. but yeah, that's. Yeah. I did, what's a, how, so I'm sorry, how long was it? A year or? I think it was a year. Just yeah, a year. it was just a year. Because yeah, we were even talking about, I think, last, well, like, not the little bonus episode, but the last episode, you know? Like, you definitely really do see the ceiling. Yeah. You know, yeah, you, you get to that point and you're like, I'm like squirreling my way up and like, you know, giving all this blood to the blood gods and like, they exactly. want more, but then there's no real like ladder to climb up. At some point, it's like, I've kind of already hit assistant store leader, store leader, but then it's like, you, you're not going to get into like, district manager or anything like that like yeah, anytime soon not no, soon like, you know that's even a greater hill to and conquer. that's even like yeah and that's even like you look at that hill and you're like oh crap like that's even yeah. like it's almost like getting your phd that's like an eight year like you know yeah like dude. commitment you know like it's something that you realize that it's not that you're not you know you don't like what you're doing or you don't like the company or any of that sort but there's no real growth like for your individual professional mm-hmm. like exactly. professional like resume you know like you want like you said you want to be able to go somewhere where you say i still have steps i can go and i know that they're there and because I have this training, I can actually get it done. Exactly. You know? At some point, you feel like you're taking all these bullets and you're leveling up by yourself. It's like playing Dark Souls. You're just like, you know, just <laughs> taking souls. You know, at some point you die and you lose all of them. You're yeah, like, just gone. Yeah, <sighs> gone, you know? And then you got to go back and grind through more. And then you go back and you save them. And you're like, all right. And it's just like this uphill climb, you know? Exactly. But it's just dude. like, oh, oh, man, I would talk about Dark Souls, about how... You go back and get our socials to die like two steps from where you <laughs> just picked him up. Yeah, right. well, at least I just got him back before I lost him. <laughs> Otherwise, that would have been a permanent loss. <laughs> yeah, right. But anyways, you think you're doing good, and then something huge just comes down, just boom. You know? yeah, just, I thought I killed this guy. Damn, no, he was just hiding. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe he comes back when you rest. <laughs> but anyways, um, I mean, how was like the, uh, the corporate politics? I guess you can you would call it be- between that. I mean, because there was already some sort of you know politics going on in store was in store politics is that what we should call it yeah i'd say yeah like because there was already some of that going on obviously preventing you from being promoted the first time um but then was that something that like you would say contributed to wanting to leave um it was, it was a little part of it because yeah, it's just like yeah the, the politics are never that good and I don't, I don't really want to be around that anymore. Like, if that's how it's going to be, then that kind of sucks, you know? Yeah. You can't just earn it anymore. It's, if they don't like you, they're not going to promote you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
but yeah, that, that was part of it. The other part was just life. You know, like, you move out on your own and stuff like that, and things get expensive, and you're like, uh, I need another job. That's what kind of led to it, too, just yeah. the quest for money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, then you need more coins. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you realize, like, oh, man, I can't really do this job anymore. It's not paying the bills. Yeah, I mean, it's that. And, I mean, because technically, based on all the stuff that you have to learn, you should be getting paid more. Yeah, yeah honest, that's the truth. To be honest, I remember like I think we talked about one episode like when we were in Vegas for the for the managers conference, you know, mm-hmm. like where everybody came around. Like we're all sitting in the hotel room. We had that moment like we'd been drinking a little bit. Like we're all kind of just, like chilling, you know, like we're about to go out and stuff. And like we all had the moment. Like I forget who it was. One of the managers was just like, "Hey guys, like you don't have to answer, but on the real though, like how much y'all getting paid?" <laughs> yeah, you know, he's just like if we're if we're all together and we're all being real, you know, like <laughs> yeah, like how much how much are you all getting paid, you know, and then like I told him I was like at the time like as a store manager I think I was getting paid, it was seventeen seventy five, mm-hmm. you know seventeen seventy five, and I told him it was like seventeen seventy five, and he's just like oh well, you know like I'm only getting paid like he's like seventeen, he's like I'm only getting paid like fifteen, yeah, and I'm like what see. the hell, <laughs> and then the other person is just like oh well, really, he's just like well how much are you getting paid. I'm getting paid 19, dude. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? You know, yeah. like, really? And how long have you been with the company? Like, oh, I've only been, like, you know, like, here for, like, maybe, like, a year and a half. Oh, or, like, ouch. Whatever. Yeah. And you're see. just, like, ouch. And then everyone starts saying different numbers, and we're all just kind of, like, looking at each other, like, huh. <laughs> yeah, you know, well, like, there, like this, would, is, this is messed up. I know? would have to say some of it is probably based on, you know, city and state. Um, there's a minimum, right? And, you know, living wages. So there's, there's that. But was there any like discrepancy in numbers when you were talking to someone who was maybe in the same city or even close to the same district or within the same district no I was going to say no that was like this was our district oh, oh this was okay. this was, this was everybody that, that is in like then. Yeah. okay yeah. then that <laughs> is saying everybody like yeah, you had a point like you know each state has different minimum wage all that but no if it no, was, was like, no, it was our district <laughs> all sitting in a hotel room by ourselves like you know kind of just like that's yeah that, like, that's, that is rough because we know we you know like everybody that we had like gone to that would go to the meetings too you know like because we were our, like our little yeah a little click like a little click yeah yeah, we all sat there and we're just like, oh no, we all got, you know, like, and we realized, yeah, let's just, yeah, 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 that that we, we, we sat there and we're just like, damn, like, all right. And then, like, it brought morale down a little bit, but it brought us closer together because we, it was kind of just like, yeah, f- management. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, you know, bond grew. Yeah, because we were like, who hired you? Oh. You know, and it's just like so and so, and you're just like, he didn't like me, did he? <laughs> yeah, you know? oh, I mean, I mean that's, like, that's the kind of thing where, because, you know, one of the things you, you want to bring to a company is your value. But to put it down, like, that straight up tell, like, attaches a monetary value to your to your person. Yeah. So it's like knowing the difference is like, are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, that's the whole thing, too, is like some, one of the older, like, someone had more tenure than me as a manager was getting paid less than me. Oh, my but God. But it was because, like, he was even saying it, too, like, it, at the time, he was getting paid a lot because the minimum wage was lower. But as they, like, kind of, like, bumped it up, the people that were getting hired later than him were getting, like, offered more money. Yeah. You know? But, but for whatever that. reason... That, I'm like, like that's... But for whatever reason, his pay is not getting, like, increased at all. Like, yeah, they didn't no, adjust it to match They didn't match adjust the it to match it, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's, so like it's, messed up, it's like a messed up tenure. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So that's why, like, even for, like, my assistant managers and stuff, like, I would always try to get them, like, you know, like, bumped up. It's like, you've been here for how long, you know? Like, yeah, I'd see how I can do to, like... You know, and, like, I'd always try to talk to HR and stuff like that or whoever, you, you know, and then you'd, you'd have to jump through the hoops of fire. Yeah. And then go through the guillotine and, like, hella stuff to, like, really get that, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, know? I can understand, you know, like, um, this, uh, when you even raise somebody for, like, a quarter or something, it's a big difference when you think about it across the nation. But mm-hmm. to have such a varying amount of numbers in the same position. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like... Like... There's, there's some there's a lot of inconsistency there <laughs> because we were talking about it you know like we were all kind of like talking about like how much kind of like we were all kind of like insinuating like you know what we've been doing or how much we're paying kind of based on like everyone's kind of living situation and stuff yeah like that. and like dude just like oh you're making like wait we're at the same job dude like how much are you making like yeah you know like yeah the moment it's just like hey wait on the real though like how much are we all getting paid right now you know like, we even said it like it's okay if we don't want to answer you know he's just like but everyone yeah everyone had been drinking a little bit we're like oh no yeah let's let's Honest, like, confession time, you know? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, it was rough, because I had, like, key holder that was getting paid more than, like, a storm leader. Oh, wow. You know, by, like, a few cents. I'm just like, you know, like, oh, man, man. <laughs> Damn. Man, that's rough. Yeah, it's bad. But I guess it, it could also be uh, maybe attributed to whether how hard your the store leader fights for, you know, the employee's wage, too. So maybe, I don't know if they were looking for that. Maybe they're just like, well, let's see. Because, you know, any corporation, like, Mm-hmm. They don't want to pay any more than what even if you're not even going to try to fight it. Yeah, they're like, the rate's not negotiable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, like, maybe something, too, where it's just like a store leader. It's like, you know what, dude? This guy's not getting paid enough. We got to give him a raise. 
Although when you're a story leader, what do you, what happens then? You know, <laughs> you can't do anything about it. Exactly. Maybe help hope your district talk to your district leader or something. You know. All right. Who has to talk to your regional leader? And oh my god. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. You see. You see the ceiling. Like you said, when you really have to look at your bills, you know, it's kind of like <laughs> they're not really. You know, like you know, we we love our store. We love our employees yeah. and everything like that. But you see, like, there's no room for growth. Yeah. And there's no one like actually giving you the XP to, to you know, to want yeah, to there, you know? yeah. break through that ceiling. It's know? kind of like you're in the same dungeon. You know, you yeah, like you're, you're just, just grinding and dungeon. grinding. And That's that is another thing, huh? Because mm-hmm. they do bring people from outside to take it up or like over positions, even like they mm-hmm. start you off at a high position. But at that point, it was like where they can't teach you how to get to their position because they didn't come from the inside; they came from the out, right? Yeah. So that's another thing too. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. Game yeah especially with NCAT, yeah. you know, yeah, he was my <laughs> he was my key holder. Fun fact, you know. We'll have a uh, yeah, fun 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 fact. Yeah, they're like coming in, it was just me and him just holding it down <laughs> every day. It was cool. I remember, like before, like no, no, no offense to Cash Rap, but there'd be times where I'd be closing with Cash Rap, and we'd be there till like you know twenty, thirty, forty minutes after, like <laughs> you know, and he's just like, okay, no, hold on, I'm just counting real quick, you know. It's just like what, you know, it's like what have you, yeah. what have you been doing, Cash Rap? Like, but hey, no, no, it's it's cool. I'll vacuum or whatever the hell, you know. Yeah, he's just very then, precise, you know. He's, yeah. <laughs> he's, just, he, he's very he doubles, meticulous. He doubles and triple checks. Yeah, right. But then uh, with NCAP, like it would be like by by the time closing hits, just like are all the go backs done? done. Like, yeah, yeah done. you know. You know, is the money counted? Oh yeah, money's money's on point. Safe like, going, all right. Yes, yeah, safe, safe going. So shut yeah. it down. <laughs> yeah, was, bro, bring it down. Everything like that. Once it hits, it's just like yeah, we we out. You know, like on would, on point. You know. I would say one of the situations that I always have with NCAP though is like, and I'm pretty sure everyone has had this situation. Anyone who's worked at GameStop, anytime he went on a break. I got flooded, and he sees from the cam. He sees from the camera. He's like, I don't know what happened. Yeah, like it's... suddenly, I went on a break, and you suddenly got a huge line when there was nobody here right, right before. That's why I decided to go on break. Like, oh, we're dead. Enough. Let's, 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 I'm gonna take my lunch now. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Boom! They just decided to come in as soon as I leave. Uh, it always happened. Never failed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm. And I'm, I mean, everyone has that kind of story with GameStop, but I would. I say with NCAP, that happens so often. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I never got flooded, but Enke was some of the first people I just hand me the keys and be like, I'm going on break real quick. And be like, what? It's like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know? It's just like, you're certified GA, right? You know, just like, yeah, you know? like, yeah, let me right outside. What does that mean? No, you got it. I'm just going to L&L, man. Like, yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you know? <laughs> I'm just like, oh, fuck, all right. Sure enough, dude comes up, you know, like with some crazy ass question. <laughs> you, know? Like, yes, oh, I, you know what? I never recalled. I remember there was one time I asked you a question about like, when I was brand new. And it's like, what if this happened? And then you're just like, well, I don't know, but it's never happened before, so it probably wouldn't happen. And then, like, a week later, it happened to me, and I was just like, end cap, what did I do here again? <laughs> I don't remember what that was. Yeah. But, but you, me- you remember what I'm talking about, right? No, I you don't. <laughs> I remember it, because I, I was just you like, I was like, happened. so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, um, didn't I tell you that something like this might happen to me? Because this is what happens to me every time I get like, a position at a new job. I asked him a question about something that's never happened before, and then it happens to me. <laughs> I just remember, me and Encap would always close, and then Trade Hold would come in and just hang out, you know? And then he would he would take our crap, you know, and hide it. Like, there'd be, we'd have, we'd have, we'd have oh, consoles, like, on the, side of the, uh, on the side of the counter so that we could test them real quick. Yeah. But we get hit with the line. And then I look back over, like, he'd look up at us and be like, hey, isn't there, a, wasn't there an Xbox right here? <laughs> you know, it's just like, what did you do with it? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. Next thing you know, it's like all the way across the store, like on the freaking, you know, yeah, like yep. on the end cap or something. <laughs> He's like, no, don't worry, I'm watching it. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. He's like, I think someone took it. <laughs> I'd be like, damn it. <laughs> Always. Or little you sticky know? notes. Yeah, very. back of shirts. Or the oh, yeah. Tags. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But the, yeah. uh, the, um. Not to just trade. Oh yeah, the trade tags. Yeah, and the, the um, what do they call it again? The GPGs. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. GPGs. Mm-hmm. Although the store manager, technically, I would say, in my mind, gave me permission. <laughs> as soon as I saw it happen, I was like, "Oh, we can do this, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay." <laughs> yeah, right. You guys are gonna get this tenfold now. <laughs> yeah, right, then we're good to go. GPG. Um, actually, uh, another thing I was gonna um uh, bring up was uh, seasonal hires. I know you had to uh, do some of that, and we had an interesting one uh, one time. But before we get into that one interesting one, you know, uh, what would you say, like, was your, I mean, what, what was your perception, your pool when it comes to, like, seasonal hires? Yeah, you've, you've seen a lot of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, I, um, my main thing on, like, hiring for seasonal, um, which I learned from Level Up, mm-hmm. you just go off their, their character. You know, like, you just fill them out. Like, they may not know a lot about video games, but... 
they're like a good you feel like a genuine good person Mm -hmm. and i could teach this guy or girl how to do our business here so i would look for stuff like that um but video game knowledge was always a perk but it's seasonal so you know they're just gonna come in and throw money at us anyways Mm -hmm. so i just look for people who could handle Mm -hmm. big crowds i mean that's true you good guy can you do work (laughs) all right let's go let's go come on i mean another thing too you know obviously it's seasonal but there are times where sometimes seasonal is meant to maybe be a full-time staff yeah or not full-time but i guess you should say because technically even when you get ga you are now working full-time exactly. but someone who can stay long term i guess you could say mm-hmm. you know so you you kind of keep out look out for that too i assume like yeah you have, of course you put Th- some that falls into and like the, their character again like just seeing how well they would mesh with the rest of the team Mm-hmm. Have you, you ever had somebody where it's just like, I just need you to stand here and breathe. Like, <laughs> I don't need you to touch anything. I just need you to, like, you know. Well, that's the one interesting <laughs> one we would get into. But. <laughs> okay, no, for sure. Okay. Sometimes, you know, you just, you want to give people a shot. <laughs> it's all about it. Was, I would say, has, has there been anyone who I, um, you know, anyone you hired that maybe you didn't expect to stay or, like, vice versa where you, you thought they would do well and you just, like, you know, I thought, I thought I judged them correctly, but nope. You know, you seen any of those? Um, well, one that surprised me that ended up staying a while was um, Stepstool. 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 Oh, so Stepstool. Stepstool. Okay. I, think, I think that's what we're gonna call him now. I, guess. I think that is Stepstool. Yeah, forever. <laughs> you know, he's a young kid. He was a kid. That's what kind of made me think like, oh, he's not gonna last. Well, he held his own. He did all right. He was there for a few years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. thrown through windows a couple of times, but. You know, he, he's a, he ended up being a good kid, and yeah, he, he was, was good at heart. One I kind of felt, yeah. like, oh, I don't know, he's gonna make it. But he, he was good I at heart. I didn't think he was gonna make it. That's too because I remember like I was there like right at like when we hired him. Like that was my last like kind of like holiday there. Yeah, you know, before I got I got sucked away you know, from, from that location. <laughs> but plucked. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, I followed level up. Yeah, but yeah, essentially, yeah, I remember he'd like sit on the counter, you know, and be like, "So what are we doing today? Pick up like a Nerf gun or something? <laughs> yeah, no. Just be chilling? Be like, dude, what are you doing, man? Like, get off the counter, put that, put that Nerf gun down, like, <laughs> go, 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 do go backs, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. All right. skating with his little skateboard, like, oh my god. Oh, he had, he had his, he he had his obnoxious moments, Remember but uh, he was charming in his own way. Like, felt like everyone should have some someone like him in the store. Yeah, right. You know. Yeah. What was he at first? He'd be like, "Oh, you see me? I just sold that Xbox, man." Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yep, he was that guy. Make, sh- make make sure you tell the manager, like, you know, so I can get some points. You know, like and it's just like it's like it doesn't work like that, man. Hey, what were your add-ons? Did you at least get him a used controller or a game? No, just a system. <laughs> yeah, all right, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. High five, sport. <laughs> yeah. There you go, buddy. But, yeah, no. But then again, too, like I said, you know, as you grew into the the staff and the location, you know, yeah. yeah. Like I said, it was it was definitely a pleasant surprise for sure. <laughs> Step stool. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, he was a character. He was a character. One of the main subjects that you worked with him was either his phone or women. Right? <laughs> and he is he is like he is like because it's not like a you know, like a smooth operator that's talking to you about women. It's someone who hopes or thinks he's a smooth <laughs> operator talking about women. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but it was funny, though. It was always, like, really entertaining. He's like, all right, dude, you say so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? He was, was a good seasonal, for sure. You know, yeah. Yeah. I remember there was, there was at least one for me, like... There, yeah, there was, there was one for me that I thought was going to be really solid. I had a great interview. I had experience at, like, Target and all this stuff. But at some point, yeah, like, once they came in, like, it was for an event. I believe the event was... What what was it? Hmm. It wasn't Call of Duty. What usually comes out right? I think it was Assassin's Creed. Okay. Probably Assassin's Creed. You know, it was the I think Origins event, hmm. right? Yeah, it was Assassin's Creed Origins. We had a whole bunch of people coming in, and then like this person, like they as soon as they show up, super shaky. I was I was planning on like putting them on like the register. I had like a plan ready to go. You know, like they're stuttering <laughs> oh, yeah. like all over the place. I'm just like, oh man. And then they came up to me at some point. And they literally said, it's just like, I don't think I can do this, man. And I was just like, oh man, really? Like, what's what's, what's going on? And he's just like, I didn't realize there was gonna be this many people. He's just like, I've never really sold anything to anybody. Like, I don't want to mess up. And that's why I was like, yeah, basically it was just like, so all I need you to do is just stand at the door with this tablet and then just anybody that comes in, you welcome them in. If you have any questions, you can look them up right here, you know, show them, like, look stuff up. Like, and right they just said, that, that, that'll be fair, you know? And like, we're just like, yeah, I just need you to stand here and breathe. <laughs> yeah, you know, it'll be well, fine. that's cool. See, like, you just, you set them up to help out still. It wasn't like, what? Can't do anything. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah right. You still get found him a job and he did pretty good at it, right? Yeah, no, he was he was, he was he was doing all right. The thing about this 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 guy was he was uh, 
he he basically had every single like tool to his disposal and like knew every single console knew every kind of like system bought every system like had all the new vr system stuff you know like mm. well it goes to all the like the video game conventions and like does all this stuff you know and like and during the interview i'm like come on man like tell me like all this like all this stuff like i know you because he was actually a, uh, one of the people i was shopping my store a lot oh okay you know yeah so yeah. like we kind of already knew like yeah like dude you could be great here you know like i see the i see the <laughs> potential in you you know like you could be golden you know, like even saying, he's just like, yeah, I know, like I like, I feel like I'll come in and like do a really good job, like all this stuff. And I was like, yes. So, so I was thinking, like, you know, it's an Xbox launch, like just just start selling like your knowledge, man. Yeah. And it shows up, and it's just like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like that's what I'm just like, you know, like I said, you know, poor guy, you know, like great great kid, but it was just like one of those moments where you're just like, oh man, <laughs> like I was hoping to have you at the reg, you know, like on the front lines, yeah. you know, like really really pushing stuff, you know, but like, no man, you gotta call gotta call an audible. <laughs> yeah, right. now we gotta talk about that season though now the one yeah, right. that we, I can't forget the one because uh, I think you pretty much gave him like the manager your word or something like that you know this person should be hired because he name dropped cash rap <laughs> I remember this guy because he was in no way helpful <laughs> oh man um, I, don't, I don't know you weren't at the store I don't know if you ever knew him I don't um, think so. I heard. I heard through the, uh, you know, through the, <laughs> yeah, through the vine, you know. Yeah, the big vine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you remember like the hiring process through this guy? Like, what, like, what was your impression of him? Because at the time you didn't really know him, but mm-hmm. when he came by, he just name dropped Cash Rap. He's like, oh yeah, I talked to you know Cash Rap and what do I forgot what he what he said. I think I was there when uh, when he was talking to you about it. Ouch. Oh, um. I remember the guy. I think that's all it took was just that he knew Cash Trap. And Cash Trap's like gold star in my books. Like, yeah, you're hired, dude. Oh, yeah. But um, I forgot how he said he knew him. And I remember Cash Trap was like, I don't know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, who is this guy? He name dropped. He said he's like your boy and stuff. Like, no. <laughs> I don't know who he is. Like, oh, you're like, I don't know who he is. <laughs> well, he's hired, so you're gonna get to know him. <laughs> you don't he's know your best him. friend, all right. <laughs> oh man, that guy just caused all kinds of grief in yeah. different ways. Like he wasn't over dramatic or anything. It was just that he was not productive in any way. He didn't learn anything. Mm-hmm. But he asked questions, but he just didn't do anything. Yeah, like I know it's sometimes we just need people to breathe. Yeah, but he just—he <laughs> never learned to register. Nothing. Never learned the register. Didn't, he didn't do anything. Hmm. It's like we, we, I, I think uh, our, our manager at the time was just like you know pass out flyers because, yeah, like, because he couldn't like I couldn't get you to do anything. So yeah, I mean like for I think for us you know when we go into the job it's like okay you know what should I learn here and it's like they teach you everything but him he would just kind of stand stood on the side, and just kind of looked around and just <laughs> yeah right. But I remember he just gave so much grief in the sense that he was just like you know can you hire me more or i mean can you schedule me for more because you know i need more money blah 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 but then he would turn back around and be like oh i can't work these days these days these days because you know i got church and school and it's like well how do we schedule you for more hours when you want these days off and it's just like, yeah i like, practice the piccolo on mondays and tuesdays but then i have violin on fridays <laughs> <laughs> but i need more hours but i need more hours please yeah and then yeah he i mean Next to the register, instead of learning about the register, he would just be like, you know, what can I do to stand out? And it's like, maybe you should learn the register. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Learn your job. And we'll go from there. You know, you know? Yeah, we can get started with your actual job first. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then we can, we can go oh, from there. Oh, man, there. that guy. Yeah, that like, I've got who dubbed him my stalker. I think that was Cricket that said he was my stalker. Because he would come in after... Um, first of all, I think he questioned why he didn't get to... Be you know long term staff which was okay, Question but it. after after he he kept coming back asking for me, and I was just I was like I didn't know because I maybe saw him twice after that. But Cricket <laughs> says that he kept com- coming and asking for me, and I assume it's just because he wanted to talk about Japan or something. I don't know. But go- <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know anymore. But yeah, that that was an interesting one. You know, if we were to get to our other manager in here then I probably would bring that up to her I don't know if she would rem- rem- remember him she probably would if I brought up more details but <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh that was an interesting one yeah yeah it's a similar situation it wasn't uh, like a seasonal hire so weirdly enough though it was like this one this one lady comes up 
and she's super nice, super giggly, you know. Like I say, she's really pretty. You know, yeah, she was, she was sitting there and she was talking to us and she was just like, oh, how can I, what can I do to, like, apply, you know? I was like, oh, you would work in, like, you know, GameStop, you know? She was like, yeah, no, I usually just kind of done receptionist jobs or, like, I kind of want to, like, get into, like, retail, but I play games. I was like, oh, what do you play? She's like, oh, I stream League of Legends. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool, you know? Like, and I just gave her the whole thing. It's just like, yeah, you just go online, you print out the application and do all that, you know? Mm -hmm. And she's just like, okay. And she's like, what's your name? And I'm like, oh, yeah, my name's, you know, Trade Holder. No, not Trade Holder, Distro, you know? Well, so and so, you know? And then she's just like, okay. Like, all right, let me go, let me go back. So then she, like, apparently turns in the application at some point. And then my uh, my manager at the time, like, goes through and, like, interviews her, you know? And he's just like, oh, yeah, she's hella pretty, you know? Like, all this stuff, you know? Like, yeah, we don't have <laughs> a girl on I'm staff, like, you know? I'm like, like that's she's a very good knowledgeable. Criteria. She's really proud. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. We could use her in the arsenal, you know? Yeah, we can use her in the arsenal, you know what I mean? It's like, even, 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 like, okay, so, you know, it's for everyone to be fair, you know, even if she wasn't really pretty, but I remember that was just a big thing, like, yeah. he comes out and he's just like, dude, like, you know, yeah, because she used me as a reference, so she put my name, like, who referenced you? It was my name. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. And she pretty much did the same thing where she was just like, oh, yeah, no, me and, you know, Distro, like, well, yeah, we have, I know Distro, you know? So, yeah, like, he's just like, you're hired. <laughs> yeah, you know? You're hired. And at some point, I saw her just like, oh, you got hired? You got an interview and stuff like that? I was like, okay, cool. And I was talking to my manager at some point, and he's just like, yeah, so, like, you know, this is what's going to get you moved up, you know, like, really, like, recruit people that you know and stuff like that. And I was just like, well, like, I don't really know her. And he's just like, really? Like, she told oh, me, like, man. she knew you and stuff like that. I was just like, no, I don't know her at all. And he's just like, oh. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. That's the reason why I hired her. Yeah, right? That's the reason why I hired her, you know? Yeah. She ended up being, like, a pretty, pretty decent uh, salesman. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Or, like, a saleswoman, rather. <laughs> because, that, like, like I said, we didn't have that kind of energy in the store where it was, like, a female presence. Mm -hmm. And she was a little more, she could be a little more pushy than we could, you know? Like, people would be like, hey, like, you want to reserve this? And then I was just like, well, why not? You know? <laughs> yeah, she can kind of be a little, like, sassier about it, you know? And then, like, people would be like, okay, okay. You know, like, hey, it was a part of her personality, you know? Nice. So she can kind of be like that, like, you know, like, kind of a, assertive. Like, assertive salesman, for sure. You know, so that's why I was just like, all right, that worked out. But then, yeah, sure enough, she she wasn't there very long because she would do just extra stuff. She'd look at come up to me. She'd be like, Distro, it's so hot in this store. Can you can you please turn the AC on? And I'm just like, okay. And then like I go over and turn the AC on. And she'd be like, Distro, it's so cold now. <laughs> like it's so cold. She's like, can I can I go sit in my car and take my 15 minutes so I can sit with the heater on? And I was like, you said it was so hot earlier. Like, you know, I was like, okay, I'll make sure not to turn it on to like at that that much higher, right? And she'd do it every single time. And at some point, like, I would go over to she'd be like, oh, like, this is like, this, I need to go sit in my car and, like, turn the AC on or, like, turn this on, you know? I'm just like, and I was just like, like a oh. druggy. Yeah, right? No, no, I was just like, all right. So I was like, I, I messed with it. I was like, go over. And then, like, she'd be like, it's so, so cold in oh, here. Oh, okay. So, like, I'd go over and I'd turn it down one degree, just bloop. You know, yeah, and she'd come back and she'd be like, oh, man, it's so hot in here now. Like, can I go to my car? And I was going to ask her, like, just, just be real with me. Like, what are you doing in your car? You know, yeah, like, or why are you trying to take so many breaks, yeah. you know? And then, like, I remember at first, like, I would give her, like, a quick courtesy. She'd be like, hey, you know, maybe she, you know, like, you know, she has something going on or something, you know, like, fine. And you do need a 15. Like, you, you can take her 15. Go. Yeah. But then she wouldn't come back for, like, a while. You know, and I'd be like, oh, man, like, it's been, like, 25 minutes. Like, you taking a lunch? Or, like, what's up? <laughs> you know? And then she's trying to take a lunch, like, 30 minutes to an hour after that. And it's just oh, like, man. it's like, ah, uh, yeah. I was like, I don't know if this is working out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, yeah. just taking advantage at that point. But then, like, my thing is just, like, I don't want it to look bad on me. It's just like, oh, no, she, she wasn't my hire. You know? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> she wasn't my reference. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? Like, she was cool, but she was name-dropping me as, like, like I said, you know, kind of, like, way in, you know? Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's what my manager's even saying. It's just like, oh, no, yeah, it's a good thing, you know? Like, she's kind of like, you're hired, you know? I'm just like, <laughs> no. <laughs> she's you hired her. You, know? <laughs> you hired her. Yeah, super cool, though. She still streams League of Legends. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get a lot of uh, followers? Hmm? Does she get a lot of followers? I don't know. I think League of Legends usually gets you a ton of followers. Yeah, who knows? She ended up moving to like Texas or something like that uh -huh. with like some dude that she met through League of Legends. Like they had never really met, met, but like they were ah, going to meet in Texas. Oh, man. You know, because like they had like I, a I online relationship kind yeah. of thing going on and then she kind of just disappeared forever. Oh. I knew a few people like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of them regretting it. But I think, <laughs> from what I hear, she's doing good. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She was always really cool, so, you know. Well, that's good. That was just the last I heard was that she moved to, like, a place to, like, meet up with her online dude, you know. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you, so like, would you, hmm. Well, you know, still staying on topic with seasonals, were there any, like, memorable seasonals that would you wish kind of would stay on staff but didn't for whatever reason? Um. Yeah. <laughs> there, there was Dare. one. It was, um, <laughs> it was uh, this one girl we hired. She was really cool. Like, kind of same attitude, you can get, like, customers in and stuff. 
but she didn't tell us at the hiring time that she was dyslexic. Oh, okay. So our filing system was like, I don't know if you remember, our games were in the wrong places. Yeah, Nothing yeah. was alphabetized anymore. So let me ask you this. What filing system? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say filing yeah. system was kind <laughs> of a... Uh, yeah, it was already kind of like... It's, it's like up, that picture you know? from like It's Always Sunny with like Charlie and he's got like all the pictures on the wall. He's smoking a cigarette. Just... <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. Sorry. Oh, man. But it, it just made it a lot harder. <laughs> like, I can only imagine. It was, like, you'd find games in like totally wrong places and it would hurt us too because... People are looking for those games, and we couldn't find it. And you know they're there, find right? it later. Yeah, like, dude, I got that in as a trade. I know it's here. Like, no one sold it yet. It says on the computer, it's still here. But we'd find it, like, a Wii U game and PlayStation 4 and stuff like that. It was just, it was bad. That's tough. That, that I mean, that's, was, like... That's a tough when, position, you know, mm-hmm. someone who is cool, but just yeah. that one, you know, disorder, and you're just like, yeah, how do you... Yeah, you know, we would have, like, this. worked better around it. Because it's not like, oh, you're dyslexic, I'm not going to hire you. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's, you can't do that. It's discrimination. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, right? But it just, it would have helped. So we would have known not to have her do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you could you could have put her into something where she was strong at Exactly. It, yeah. Instead of filing her games and messing <laughs> them up. Yeah, right? Well, Gave even, like, trouble. some stores are super extra, because we had different <laughs> kinds of fun. Like, yeah, so, like, oh, I was going to say. We have, like, say... the cases uh, behind the, the sleeves. You know, or no, one drawer's only cases, one drawer's only sleeves. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, yeah, and then you have, like, this whole, this whole, like... I was yeah, going to say, filing like, system in itself is already, like, different, almost store-to-store, yeah. basically. That's what I want to say, what filing system? <laughs> it is different. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> I remember uh, going into help a store. Oh, I was going to bring this up. Hopefully I remember. But uh, I remember going to a different store, and they were just like, yeah, we're redoing the whole filing system because they, like, just got a new manager. I guess he was, a, he was a, you know, he was from another store, but he got promoted to manager, and he was managing that store, and he's like, we're changing the whole filing system, and I'm just like, <laughs> I was like, uh, are you guys trying to do this now? Or he's like, well, we're trying to get it done, you know, by tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, all right, I guess I'll help with this, and that was my, my main reason for being over there. It was a really quiet store, though, like there wasn't a lot of traffic, so there was plenty of time to do it. But I was like, I think I got to a point where I think I stayed a good hour after closing because i'm like i'm almost done i'll fix this up real quick you know but uh yeah they changed up the whole filing system oh. and i remember stories of our store where that happened where some new manager came in and was like oh i don't like this filing system we're gonna change it and then someone like higher up district or regional is like oh no this is not how it should be change it like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, remember hearing like that. Oh, man. I think i remember that you know yeah it was rough <sighs> Yeah, but dark ages in that store. I remember when, <laughs> once once the level up left the mothership, and then we got our other manager, and she came in, and she started cleaning. Like she started really cleaning it. Oh yeah, I remember she gave us <laughs> so much shit. Like you're like right off the bat, like she looked over at us, and she's just like, "Well, she was super OCD." Yeah, no, she was super OCD. But my, one of my favorite memories ever is like uh, I don't know if I brought this up on the podcast, but she came up, and then she's she's uh, basically after she wiped everything, cleaned everything. She starts vacuuming. She's just like, why isn't this vacuum like sucking anything up? <laughs> she's just like, when's, uh, when's the last time you guys changed I, the bag? I remember bag? the story. Yeah, she's like, when's the last time you guys changed the bag? And we and like, I remember me and NCAP look at each other. We were like, you changed the bag? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, what, what bag? Yeah. And she looks at us and she's like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm throwing this thing away. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. And we're getting a new vacuum. That's and then we get a new vacuum and we're just like, oh, like this thing is like actually working. <laughs> yeah, wow. Like, wow. Yeah, yeah. She's just like, so this is what a vacuum is. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. i clean the floor. Is. She's like, I'm working with a bunch of dudes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you know, we, I mean, it may sound sexist. Some of the few things we were just talking about, oh, you know, a girl, but. You need that because sometimes yeah, guys sometimes do not know <laughs> some of the other aspects of things. Like I was saying, it's like, so you know when you clean your room, your mom comes in and then cleans your room. Yeah. And you're like, oh, snap. <laughs> like, okay. Yeah, you know. Yep. It was one of the situations where she gave it the deep clean and we were like, oh, damn, like, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it was pretty, pretty, it was like, we didn't, we didn't think it was gross. We did our basic clean, but like, yeah. did you really get in there? Yeah, like. It's like, what do you mean you're cleaning underneath the bed? There's a bag. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, there's a that, bag. That story I've heard so many times at this point now. <laughs> the whole bag. Oh, um, but, yeah, actually, uh, thinking about it now, you know, a lot of us, even myself, you know, we've been asked to work at other stores. Mm-hmm. And sometimes a transfer happens. Mm-hmm. But you worked there for a while, and you never got a transfer, right? No, I got transferred into that store, and then I just stayed there. Yeah. Okay, you got transferred into the store. Yeah, when I was at the mall store, mm-hmm. I would go help out other stores, okay. like, all the time. 
I, yeah, there's just so many that I'd go help out at. And then there's finally closing one, and I went to go help with that close, and that's when I met Level Up. Okay. And he's the one who, like, pitched it to me, like, hey, well, you know, I need an SGA. You want to come over? And I was like, yeah, sure. Because um, the original boss manager I worked with at the mall, he left to another store. So I was just like, wasn't feeling the new manager yeah. there, mm-hmm. which left, he left right after I left. So, which was good though, because uh, that mall store really blossomed after that manager left. But um, yeah, I didn't help out a lot. Was that the, was that the uh, manager I heard that was really disorganized? Or? No, he wasn't really organized. He was really mean. Like, oh, he, he was a mean he manager. He was just really mean. He would like yell at you and like curse at you. And then finally someone was like, you know what? You can't talk to me like that. So they called someone and they got him out of there. Oh, okay. So did he transfer or did he just got let go? I heard he just quit. Oh. They probably gave him like an ultimatum. <clears throat> it's like either we're going to fire you or you're going to quit. I'll quit. Like, you know, stuff like that mm-hmm. happens sometimes. Okay. So, but, I mean, um, did, did you get other like offers from or like was, was there any time point in time where, you know, district or region was like, hey, we want to transfer you to another store? Did you, ha- did you ever get any of that? Yeah, I would get that. And, um. But I didn't really want to do it because at the time I wasn't, like, driving or anything like yeah. that. So I'd be like, oh, no, it's out of my way. Can't really get there. Okay. And then, um, yeah, I just, I just turn it down. And they'd be like, oh, okay, well, you know, this opportunity's not coming around next time. And I was like, okay. But then I just met Level Up. And I just, I didn't care where it was after meeting him, actually. Like, he just, he was an awesome guy. And I was yeah. like, dude, I'd love to work for you. Where is it? And he told me where it was. And cool. And when I went to our, our mothership, I'd help out other stores still, but I'd never... Yeah. Left. Yeah. I just, never left. That was our store. Yeah. I never wanted to leave it. Yeah, that was our store. It was like, another, another thing to bring up, too, like, I, I don't know if we mentioned it as well, like, once you were uh, one of Level Up's guys, you were Level Up's guy, you know, like, one of his crew members are through and through always, you know? Yeah. Like, once you're, you're part of the down. club, you know, yeah. It's like, once Ooh. you're in, you're never out. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing, too, is, like, especially with upper management, like, they didn't really like us. Like, especially if you were one of Level Up's guys, you yeah, know? Yeah, like, they kind of had, like, a... That. And that was, yeah. that was kind of weird because they liked Level Up. Yeah, no, just yeah, not right. the crew. Just not, right? just not the crew yet, because he always look is just like, oh no, that's one of the level ups guys. So like, gotta watch out for him. Like, I know he go shows results and we're promoting him, but like, it's kind of you always have the eye on you. you yeah, know? like there always, there's like always, that. there's always some kind of something that, that is kind of weird. Now I never actually even thought about that. Yeah, right. No, you can definitely see it because especially like saying with the end cap, you know, there's a lot of times where it's just like, yeah, but like yeah. that store, or, like you know, yeah, that team or whatever. I've, I was, or it almost like, sounds like they view that the loyalship as a negative. Yeah, right. Or even like with uh, with cash wrap, you know, like cash wrap, same thing. You know, like I feel like him working his way up was still that same thing. It's just like, yeah, but like you know, you know, he's he's one of he's one of level ups guys. Yeah. And even me when I was like going through and like we had our like before the management was turning over, you know, so mm-hmm. kind of just like yeah, no, you better watch out for him. You know, yeah, that's that's crazy. Was that you just because that, that's like, how it was. Yeah, we had different kind of mentality compared to other stores. I know we've mentioned it. Compared, where it's like we're all about the community. Yeah, yeah. we're all about like exactly. you know just kind of selling the experience, being able to talk, being super chill. You know, kind of like not really being pushy, being honest mm-hmm. salesman. You know, mm-hmm. just so that when people come in, it's just like they want to come in. You can actually build like regulars, and that feels really cool because he never really like made us do anything. You know, like that we didn't really feel comfortable doing. Yeah. You know, like he he would take a lot of. Sh- for us too, you know, and kind of like brush it off, exactly, just so we wouldn't have to like you know go through a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. And he, was, he, he was mentioned really that before a... too. Yeah, but right. I remember him saying that like where they would ring down on him about like your team needs to do this, your team needs to do that, but he wouldn't tell us because he liked the way we were operating already. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't right, want right. to put that weight on us, so he's like, "Don't worry about it, you know. We'll do what we have to do." Mm-hmm. And we we did good. Yeah, right. Yeah. We always hit numbers. We're always doing good yeah. too, you know. It's because just because of our words. community. Yeah, yeah. It's, we built that bond with all our customers and so we didn't need to push too hardcore for corporate standards you know it's like we took care of it regardless yeah, so yeah, they, corporate like, standards change all the time with yeah the we wouldn't we wouldn't follow their specific guidelines or change like you know we were doing solution selling before they even brought up solution selling. Yeah, yeah i know like years <laughs> beforehand i, I, mean, much, I mean that's dude. what that's what so that's, that's one of the things like, i've mentioned i'm like that's why i like the store you know, and it was yeah. funny i and i think i mentioned it before too when they talked about it and you know, for as part of the morning thing, you know, while you're opening, and later it's like, oh, this is what we're gonna do from now on. I'm like, that's what you should have been doing the whole time. That's what we we've been do doing. Yeah, right? That's what yeah, the that's, game store I used to work at. That's do it all the time. basically mad at us for doing this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, they wanted us like strictly to the book. Like, this is how you offer. And customers this have been do, saying you know? that you guys should be doing it that way the whole time. <laughs> right, and then they change it, and they change it again, and they yeah. change mentality again. But yeah. then, like, we stayed consistent with just like, yeah. you know what, we do, we do us. Yeah, you know, and they'd get mad too because we'd always do really well with our events. We'd always have a really good, you know, like, you know, like, we never had, like, same thing. We didn't have a lot of turnover. Like, our store was always locked in. Yeah. 
you know, a lot of our stories, I get people coming in left and right and leaving, mm-hmm. you know, like, with with, the, with ours, it was like, we always had, a, like, our base crew, for sure. You know, and if people did leave, it's because they were moving up, you yeah. know, like, they were actually getting promoted exactly. to other things. Yeah, or they were, like, expanding moving out. somewhere else. Yeah, right, or they were moving like somewhere yeah. else for something, you know, yeah. It, it was, was never, never a quitting, like, oh, you know, like, forget this place. Here, yeah. Right. yeah, it was never like, this I'm place done sucks. Here, no. <laughs> yeah. it's just, it was just to move on. Yeah. It's like, for better things, and no one burned bridges, which I liked. Yeah. You know, just did what we had to do. Yeah, right. That's why I know it was, it, was, it was definitely a good spot. Yeah, if they didn't, especially being like one of Level Up's crew, you know, like you do get that that stamp, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that yeah. brand, like I that will, brand, you know. Yeah. I would have to say though, I, I got on NCAP a few times. Like, why aren't you guys going out to hang out more? Like, <laughs> I used to say before I worked there, I was like, do you guys ever, you know, go out like go bowling or something? Like, no, I'm like. Go bowling. <laughs> right? yeah, I was like, you guys like seem like really friends. Okay, mom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah pretty, pretty much. Pretty yeah, much. I'm sure the, the guys did. It was just mainly my part. I always had like my family. I had to go home to right away. Mm-hmm. It's like, <laughs> dude, it's got to be planned out. Yeah, ahead of time, I you know? know ahead of time. Yeah, I had to do a lot. <laughs> <laughs> was, you would do a lot to get me to like go. I said, to no, home. it was always cool. Like we came in, we had a good time. We clocked out. It was we out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. It locked up shop and just bounced. Remember me and Rincap, we had that talk where it's just like, you know what? I'm just here to get my hours. You know, yeah, like, <laughs> you know, have like, and nothing goes wrong, you know what I mean? Like, sell some games, and then once the time comes, we out. We're like, done. You know, we're done. <laughs> and I'm just like, amen. <laughs> you know, like, let's, let's do it. Get on cash right. again, though, like, with him, it's just sitting there endlessly counting money yeah. into oblivion. The store would be clean, though, because before I got bumped up, he was my ASM. So he would just. Be doing his thing, I'm like All right, waiting for this guy. <laughs> well, I guess I'll start cleaning. <laughs> Store would be hella clean before we left. So. We, we missed you, Cash Rap. <laughs> <laughs> for this episode. <laughs> um, all right. Well, we talked about how uh, you know you more or less weren't getting paid what all the stuff you had to learn and all the stuff you had to implement. So you know, with your newer jobs, like you know, you're a supervisor now, right? Would you say you would be you're doing more or less or implementing less than you did when you were at GameStop but getting paid more I'm doing a lot less and getting paid more yeah it's mm-hmm. it's the it it's blew crazy, my mind right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it blew my mind like I don't have to do that They're like no and you're paying me this much like yeah I'm like cool are you sure yeah, yeah, like, yeah alright that it's... is one of the perks right there of GameStop you, yeah. That is a, is a lot of pressure working at GameStop sometimes. Well, they even said, like, a, a lot of other places, they like hiring GameStop employees because we got paid, like, dirt yeah. low, and we got treated like dogs, pretty much. Yeah. You know, for a minute. Yeah, like, we were treated good for a minute, you know? like But then for a minute, they're like, it feels like you're not getting paid nearly enough. Yeah. It, then, then they had another, like I said, yeah, and then the dark, dark times came. Yeah. You know, yeah, but, like, it's, it's true, you're sitting there, you're like, oh, man, like, before I was only getting paid so-and-so. Like, you're paying me, like, oh, snap. Like, yeah, like, it makes you actually want to work a little harder, too, now. It's yeah. I like, have to do this. Like, yeah, let me just knock that like, out. I don't do a lot of that managerial stuff, but it does come in handy. Because mm-hmm. if my manager asks me a question, like, I know what he's yeah. talking about. Like, um, the place I work at, their um, sales plan is exactly, it looks exactly how GameStops looked. Like, where okay. you, instead of use and stuff, you have your departments and plumbing and hardware and this and that. But I'm looking at them, like, exactly how GameStops was so yeah, like, right. I could tell you where we need to work on this and that like, I got a truck in last night that's heavy in hardware so I know our sales are going to go up tomorrow like this and that They're like oh wow well, you know all that it's like yeah no. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm just a supervisor but I know what I'm looking at so yeah don't worry I got it like, it's, right. it's crazy yeah, it's, yeah, like having to even like look at that goals and knowing what you're selling and how to sell it mm-hmm. to get those exactly. Things up. I remember I even went up to like a store like the same thing. Identify it. She's like, I don't know why I'm doing so bad in preon, and like I was just like looking around the store. I was like, well, like just looking around your store, man. There's no preon on the walls anywhere. <laughs> you know, it's just like, and I go into the back room. There's just hella preon controllers everywhere. And like that. And so I was just <laughs> like, right? I was like, I think it's because it's in the back, dude. Yeah, like, you can't sell yeah, it. It's back there. Yeah. <laughs> See you know, back sh- there. But sure enough, like yeah, start shooting up. You know, it's kind of like you you learn how to kind of like hit. You know. Like I kind of hit those goals, you know, like exactly. or find ways to, to hit those things, you know. And they don't teach you that. You kind of just you gotta learn, learn it. Yeah, you pick it up. Something you, just, you pick you up. You learn it on your own there. Cool. It's yeah. Definitely one of those picks you perk up for or perks you pick up for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, you know what? One of the other things too is uh, I always found this strange, specifically at GameStop store allocations, hour allocations. The way they did it was there is a set amount of hours you get per week. And then you have to kind of, you know, assign... Divvy it up. Yeah, divvy it up between not just yourself, I mean, including yourself, but mm-hmm. everybody below. 
So it has to, when you divvy it up, it has to match that exact amount of hours. And I understand, you know, like, you, you don't want to give to one, someone too many hours and things like that. But, you know, stores I used to work at, it would be like, okay, you know, don't assign that person more than this weekly amount of hours. Other than that, you know, schedule them whenever you can, work around a schedule, things like that. Yeah. You don't want there to but, be a mutiny. But with, <laughs> but with GameStop, it was very, this is your number, amount of hours you get figure it out like do you see any of that between game crazy and the place you're working now when compared to gamestop um kind of yeah game crazy it, it's just like i said it's just four of us so yeah. <laughs> it was like well who can't work this day it's like yeah. i can't all right then we'll have so and so work this day yeah um where i'm at now though it, it's a it's a big business so mm-hmm. we have an hr guy mm-hmm. who does the scheduling and all that stuff so okay. that, that's all his headache now oh okay so that's that's part of it too or it's like i don't have to worry about that but um he doesn't know what he's doing so it still hurts because <laughs> okay, i have yes, departments yes, like, that don't have people on certain days and i'll call him like dude where are you he's like, well, i'm off today like why are you off i don't know I'm scheduled off like do you have school or work or something no it's just i'm off i'm like okay <laughs> i just looked at my schedule yeah it's like, <laughs> he said i'm off so i didn't come in like all right dude fair enough <laughs> but um that that headache's gone Okay. But it, it wasn't really a bad headache, though, at GameStop. Because um, you had your crew and you knew who yeah, had yeah, yeah. school and who was available in the evening. So it was, it was kind of easy well, to make a schedule. Yeah, but it was also like a a tough for coverage type of thing. Yeah, like that, that's true. Someone can't come in. Evenings were cool, but mornings, like, you're alone until, yeah. like, the next person comes in, like, at 1 or 2. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, yeah. And that, that would be rough. You try to stack heavy on the weekends because you know that's when you're the busiest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like that's that is something that I thought was really weird because I I worked a lot of jobs before GameStop, and I've been in manual you know manual positions, and I'm like I've never seen this how specific it was in our uh, like allotments mm. allocations, where it's just like you have to get it to match up to this number if you want more you gotta request for more. Yeah, right. Before it was just like you know certain staff should not work more than this amount of hours. Other than that, schedule. Them. You know, around however, yeah. it's like you can be three hours in this day, five hours in this day. And it's like, but with, with the GameStop, it's like, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, okay, you have to schedule yourself, but you also can only have a maximum of 44 hours. And then your ASL <laughs> can only have a maximum of, what, 40 hours? Yeah. And SJ has to be like 20 and things like that. And then you also have to work around the their schedule. And it's just like, what the heck, dude? Because exactly. yeah, right? <laughs> you really like, dude, it's like, I've been left with... 20 or so hours, you know, and then I have, like, three people I need to schedule, and you're just like, oh, yeah. snap. Like, all right. <laughs> you're right. Well, so there's one thing that, like, like I say, is probably a blessing, too. Like you are saying, like, it's not my headache anymore. Well, it's, it's <laughs> kind of like when people come up to me now at my new job, and they're just like, hey, so, like, what's my schedule for, like, this, or how do I get more hours this? I'm just like, oh, just talk to schedule. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, for real, though. It's just like, oh, no, so me... I'm not about all that. Like, I don't. You come in, I'll tell you what to do. Yeah, but exactly. There's somebody else that sends you your schedule, so you need to talk to them. You know, like, did, they mess, did they mess up on your like money or anything? Okay, there's a form, and then you send that to schedule. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You, know? you go get them to sign off on it, and then good luck, sir. Yeah, right. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cheers. Like, yeah, that's, all right, that's another perk right there. GameStop, then, man. How hard it is there makes up the other job afterwards. Yeah, exactly. like, a, like, Walk be- in the park. Because before, like, yeah, and Kep was saying, like, you would literally be alone from the moment you opened until about two, oftentimes, or one, or whenever the, the relief came in. Yeah. But then, at the point, you should be taking your lunch at that point, you know? Yeah. Or, like, you have to, um, exactly. You, you have something that comes up where it's like, oh, crap, I still haven't done the schedule for next week. Or t- you're supposed to do it two weeks in advance, but then, like, you get caught up on a stuff, or, like I said, then I have to divvy up hours and I have to do, like, the math on, like, the payroll and stuff like that. Yeah. You yeah. know? And then you're like, oh, man, but now my district manager is calling me because he has, like, this thing that he wants me to do. He wants me to, like, move my walls or he wants me to like do a cat count or something crazy you know <laughs> and it's just like and you have all these things that stack up and before you know it's already five o'clock and you're just like you know i'm, I'm trying to get out of here but i still had to like do these things because if i don't it's going to stack onto the next day and then you already know all this sh- like crap you have to do the next day so you're yep. like you're like oh man like i might as well stay that extra half hour to hour and like get her done like right there you know exactly. so you end up working like way longer than than you're actually allocated for like after you're actually <laughs> that extra to. four hours you know that extra four hours it's and then gone. Yeah, and then you're just like, oh, man. And then, like, you go into the next day, it's just like, it's the same thing. And then you have the conference call or something, you know? And then you're like, now I have to be on the conference call for an hour, and that's, like, a whole hour of my day that, like, you know, is pretty much gone. Yeah. You know, yeah. Stuff, stuff like that where it's like, and then they expect us to get all this stuff, like, taken care of properly. It's like, 
there should be they're like, oh no, you're just not delegating it properly, and it's just like, <laughs> it's just like that was their well, main excuse. Yeah, right. It's just well, like, you're just oh, no, you're just you know, you're not delegating properly. It's just like, well, like I can only like I delegated schedule at some points my assistant manager, but even then too, like we say like they're swamped too because mm-hmm. it's the same thing for them. Like as soon as we come in, like they have to take their lunch, they have to do all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. If I'm not you know? there and they are, they're me. So they're going through the same stuff that I would go through in the mornings and whatnot. Yeah, right. So it's just never ending. It's a gauntlet. <laughs> yeah, right. No, for sure. So that's what it's like. You know, we count my blessings now. Where it's just like, you know what? Just talk to schedule. <laughs> you know, there's a full yeah. team dedicated to just making <laughs> schedules. You know, like worrying about hours and exactly. and all of that. Like you know, like I just look at what I'm supposed to have, and if they're not there, I'll call scheduling too. But like, you know, that's all like up to them. You know, is there anything to having to call people in? You know, like it's nice having just like a. Like yeah. a system, you know? It's just there. That's it. Like you said, too, and they're paying you more. You're just like, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, It's crazy. You know, because it is de- it's definitely a good company to grind your teeth, you know? Like, really, really, like really sharpen your teeth, rather, mm-hmm. you know? And really get a lot of good perks behind you. Because going into other places, you feel like you're you're in, like, a lower-level area with hella XP, you know? And you're just smashing yeah, stuff. Yeah, you're slaying stuff. You know? It's like you're going back for that one item you couldn't get to earlier, because, you, you know, you, you, you just weren't quite at that level, you know? And now you go back, and you're just, like, Damn treasure chest just mocking me. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. Get it. Yeah, right? Just damn Except these the level 40 bot like, enemies <laughs> getting in my way. Yeah, right? No, exactly. Watch me grind so I can grind and <laughs> take you down. <laughs> yeah, right? All right, well, I think we're kind of reaching the end of the uh, session here. Uh, was there anything else you want to ask NCAP, or was there anything else you want to say, uh, NCAP? No, I just wanted to add in, man. It was always a pleasure working with you. One yeah. of, oh, yeah. one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite, you know, coworkers for sure. <laughs> and you already know, we'd, we'd call each other, you know, like from my store to your store, and we'd be like, Yo. I miss you, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was, it, was, it was always a good time, especially leaving that store was one of the hardest things. It's like I'm leaving NCAP and leaving everybody behind, you know, but... It was really, like I said, it was for the better for us to like, kind of grow. Exactly. You got to leave the nest, you know, to grow. And we were taking over the, the district for a minute there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know, yeah, so. a lot of customers who came in and like, is NCAP working today? It's like, no. It's like, oh, who are you? I'm like, I'm new. <laughs> <laughs> can I help you? you know, like, like, I'll help. try. I, I, can, I can help. I understand NCAP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Like, really learning everything, too, you know? You were, you're, you're my main guy, and I appreciate you. Oh, thank you. You yeah. know, yeah. yeah. I appreciate it, Distro. I was going to mm-hmm. say, you, you did have someone who was a little obsessed with you, but we'll talk about that another time. <laughs> yeah, that's <next>. another <laughs> story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that would be a whole different I'm podcast. Su- I'm surprised that didn't make its way into this episode. Yeah, it, it <laughs> got no. pretty crazy, too. Yeah, well, oh, really? Yeah. It um, got even crazier than I know? I do believe that um, Stepstool gave her my cell phone number. Oh, no. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it got pretty crazy. But good thing it worked out, and uh, my wife, she's with me still. We're still married. Well, you got good, pretty good. <laughs> But All yeah, right. it is. that's another story, though. Yeah, that's, that for would that. be a different... That we, we talked about having a session where we're just going to go into I think we crazy had, uh, stories. And admire our swords. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. yeah we, all we all had them. It's All right, crazy. cool. Well, I guess that was the end. that's the end of today. Thanks for joining us, NCAP. Thanks yeah, for having me, guys. we got to drop the gate. Yeah, yeah. man, we got to close up shop, kick people out. I mean, NCAP is, was like me back in the day where, you know... Right now, he's a customer, and I don't know why we're still letting him in, even though we're closing the store. Like, I don't know why he's still inside. Sure. <laughs> I just got this box of games I'm going to trade in real quick. Come on. Yeah, right. yeah, it'll be like 10 minutes. It's all Sega. <laughs> it's all Sega. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, thanks, everyone, for giving us a listen. We'll catch you next time.